go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back in line. <laughs> no! Whoa. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. The other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told. Listen, freak boy. If you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. Trying to piss me off? You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for, uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Leave me the fuck alone. I'm looking for Leo Galante. You're starting to get on my nerves, boy. Five years and almost two months. How long for you? Uh, they don't seem too friendly. Lucky bastard. Just give up now, my man. No chance to don't listen to these I'll motherfuckers. Sandwich, you're short of a picking club. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Get the fuck away from me. The war. I know you. 
You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago! Come on! Yeah! Get this fucking Dago ass! You and your boy! This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved a potato up your mother's ass. Kick his teeth in! It's like, ah, Three faggots for breakfast? Kill him, O'Neal! Oh. Kick his ass, O'Neal! Stop his fucking brain! Yeah! Kick his fucking Dago ass! Step back! Okay, Did you hear me? Break it Get out of here! Both of you are going to hold! We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Got a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, kid. Nice. nice Give me two more. Oh, All right, shit. one more of you. That had to hurt. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas. That's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... 
Luca said he'd bring us into the family for uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh, so what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Hey, how's it going? Come How on, you doing, give Vito? Me one. Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little yeah, more of that, and you'll be ready for a real fight. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neill. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter. Watch where you walk, Guaylo! Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> His master will not be happy. Dark high, dark high, dark high la. Ah, yeah, this no happen if you use tiger style. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scalata. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Or come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hottest work this bum ever did in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! 
lying down on the job like always. Your little cracker going down. <laughs> Man, who taught this brother how to fight? Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. No, no. Grab it. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next one. Oh, this boy got as much chance of winning as a brother running. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. How'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... just drop it, alright? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. Alright, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, pal. Come on, man. You're yelling at me. Jesus, you're singing. It's the second worst thing that There you go. Make them sparkle. And hurry it up. Hey, pipe down now. All is. Relax, fellas. I'm just giving the old pipes a workout. You're bored of that shit. Alright, alright, jeez. You guys got no culture. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. Get moving.
All right, Scaletta. Get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. <laughs> it... <clears throat> do that again, sweet cheeks. <laughs> Oh, this guy's a fighter, huh? <laughs> Hurry it up, John. We ain't got long. Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. The guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! Oh. Again! Ah. Ah. Nice shot, Mary! Ah. No guards! Ah. Oh. Me ma used to hit harder than that! Oh. Is that all you've got? This time I'll... Ah. Ah. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Have to do better than that, little girl! Ah! 
out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's going to have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other... Is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about... Adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. Got a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing, because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. 
Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardroom. You're gonna love it. Damn, it's good to have you home. I'd done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. He really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise planned for you. But don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, I did not run over. I didn't even see him. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two, maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you.
Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scarpa. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Hey, toys to bed. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in the game? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that, nah, you know, uh, uh, this guy's sports, a maniac. We gotta take him down. Baseball, everything. Now you get Copy closer. That. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Ah, uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Did you not see that light turn red? Asshole Luca were taking guys into their family for a fee, but we had no idea they were charging that much. Uh, they're gonna have to answer for their sins soon. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching down. I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. <laughs> Talk about a horse's ass! <laughs> no, no, really. Uh, Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy. Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you want to oh. use your mouth, you fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's go. Uh, hey, get up, Joe. Huh? <laughs> 
I'm going home. Good night, you whores. Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah! Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poos. <laughs> So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, Zeech in the shower, huh? <laughs> <sighs> oh. What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell there? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, nah, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spat it. We'll figure something out. What's the figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. <sighs> you got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Now, I'm gonna hurl! Jesus, where's this shit coming from? Oh, shit. Whoa, I don't remember right. eating calamari. <laughs> Can't hold your booze, can you?
All right, we're here. <clears throat> Rito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> God damn it, no shoes. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long has this guy been in here, Reddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, it's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Oh. 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 Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally done. Okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any ah, help here. Fine, he... whatever. Hey, fellas, how about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be da, part da, of your homecoming da, da, da. party, but Good it's nice night, out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. this oh my god what do you know Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. 
Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. Look you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. <laughs> Come on. I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night.